Hey, it's Dave Williams from digitechcoach.com.au and I just wanted to share with you uh, these little guys. It's called a wax pen and I, I think they're an absolute essential uh, tool to have if you're into 3D printing, especially in schools. Uh, they really do uh, make life a lot easier when it comes to uh, just finishing off and touching up your, your jobs and your work. So today I'm going to share uh, how to use it and a little bit about the pen and uh, if you've got any questions you're welcome to comment uh, on my blog or on my YouTube channel. Uh, so the wax pen, they're about uh, 23 US uh, dollars and roughly about 35 Australian dollars. Um, they're typically used by jewelers for prototyping uh, their uh, products and or their jewelry and they use a wax to do so and, and this pen uh, can heat up to, th uh, to 450 degrees and they use it to uh, carve away at the wax uh, to become a prototype of the, the jewelry that they're trying to make. Uh, so we've adapted it to 3D printing and have found that it works really well at removing uh, using this tip here on the on the the top, uh, it's just a wire, but that tip, um, like I said, heats to 450 degrees and really does um, carve away at the plastic and uh, makes life a lot easier uh, when it comes to doing that. So I'm just going to show you something that I've printed here. This is a, um, a Sphero cart. Um, it's quite sturdy, it's using ABS plastic and, and these pens can be used on both ABS, PLA and whatever other type of um, filament that you're using. Um, so the, the pen just has one AA battery in it and it's quite remarkable how quickly it can heat up to that temperature just by holding um, the button in. The tip of the pen uh, starts to heat up and I've just left the sidewalk on uh, this sidewalk material on what, I'm, um, what I've printed. I can pull it off like that and at times it comes off really quite well and then other times it's going to be a little bit more stubborn. Um, so it comes off okay, but there might be areas. So for example, uh, in here, around that edge, um, just in here, um, I want to be able to uh, get it more precise and really finish it off so it looks good. Whereas just by ripping this sidewalk material off, uh, I don't always get that refined uh, finish to my projects. Um, and what this wax pen allows you to do is to really uh, make your uh, whatever you printed look good. So you can see some of these rough edges. Now I'm just going to test to see if um, yep, you can see that's heated up quite well. And I can then just drag that along and um, yeah you could use a knife or you could use scissors or you could use something else to chip away at that. But this wax pen really just carves into it like butter and I could probably wait for it to get a little bit hotter but uh, we're just conscious of time so here I am just chipping away and now it comes off really smooth um, and especially for these intricate pieces uh, here I can just dig in and then scoop them out with this wax pen and uh, it really does finish it off in a smooth fashion and your prints look so much better when you've spent the time um, chipping away at it and getting and removing all these pieces of plastic. So um, we're finding this tool is uh, an essential part of our uh, maker space and it really does uh, help with all our 3D printing designs and models um, just to be able to go back in and just trim up and make things look um, really smooth. Right, so you can also use an engraver to do something along these lines but I, I find that uh, the wax pen really does uh, get into all the spots that we need it to and the, and the engravers can sometimes spit out quite a lot of uh, dust so if you're working in a, in a space and you've got lots of people um, using engravers not only is it um, the dust but the noise uh, from those things can make it really difficult to um, tune in during class or uh, can be a bit of a distraction. Um, so yeah, I really find that these are quiet. The only thing is you do get a little bit of smoke. Um, so you need to be in a well ventilated room. And um, just using these wax pens, you can really tidy up um, your project. And um, it can also be used to uh, weld 
plastic together and I'll show you that in a moment um, where there's now I'm just using it to trim away some of these excess pieces or some of the sidewalk material that um, I don't no, I no longer need uh, in this project so um, they come off there you can get different tips um, for these pens and they also have a uh, replacement tip if they break off uh, so it's pretty straightforward um, and also for example I've got this um, support material here in the middle so I can look at trying to break that off um, however there's always going to be some leftover residue or filament and a really good way to get rid of that so you can sort of see uh, in there now that you've got all that left over. Okay, so I've removed all this uh, support material out of the inside of the um, Sphero cup, and I'm just trying to remove all these little burrs and um, little bits of plastic that are in the way um, inside there. So um, using the wax pen, um, you can go in and simply just carve them out or remove them or take them away as needed and so you can just sort of see um, they really does do a good job of um, being able to just chip away at that um, and that way uh, it's leaving a nice smooth area for um, for the sphero when it's sitting inside that cavity all right so that's that part um, that's one way of using a wax pen with a 3D um, printer. Um, we've also got um, things like uh, doing repairs. So on this particular, this is an iPhone case that we've 3D printed and you can see the, the sides are just starting to uh, fray and split a little bit from when the phone's been going in and out of that case. So rather than trying to print another one, what, what we can do, and if I just hold that up there, you can sort of might be able to see um, roughly where that's splitting a, a bit um, that's a bit better so yeah you can um, see that so what I'm going to try and do is just um, using the the uh, wax pen is just weld that seam closed again and hopefully uh, we'll get a little bit more use out of this before time to print a new one so um, yeah I'm finding that the wax pen really does help to resurrect and save projects as you're um, going along so that looks like it's welted melted and and welded a um, that seam or that crack that was starting to show in the case, and I'll just do that. I can sort of see a little hairline crack just going down there as well. So I'm just going to melt that crack back together and just get on the inside and do something very similar. And then that way, you're going to have a lot more longevity out of this particular case, and so on. So, um, yeah, look, that's that's done a pretty good job uh, in a short period of time of, of melt, uh, welding those two pieces of plastic back together. Um, so yeah, wax pens are great for uh, running repairs and um, just fixing up things. So um, I've also got um, examples of things like these uh, glasses that have been uh, created using a 3D pen. Um, so these are Wax pens are fantastic for uh, fixing up some of the little incidentals that you do with um, with the pens, and you can just sort of see that I can remove um, all the excess pieces of filament. So this little strand here, uh, I can just come in and and chop that off. Uh, I can also run my wax pen along the top there and remove any of the pieces that I don't want to be there anymore. And um, we're finding that this is really meaning that kids aren't using scissors or knives that are sharp um, and they're also not damaging their work um, 
because when you use scissors or a knife or something like that, you could slip and then really um, either cut yourself or damage the, the workpiece at the same time. So, uh, yeah, these um, wax pens are inexpensive and they really do uh, help just to put the final touches on your 3D printed work. Um, one thing I do suggest is that you do have a well ventilated room uh, because you do get a little bit of um, smoke and fumes coming off the tip. Um, um, there you have it, that's uh, the pens that have been um, tidied up, oh, sorry that's the glasses there that have been tidied up using the, the wax pen and um, it's done a lot better job than what I was previously doing with either scissors or a knife uh, simply because um, you can be a lot more gentle with, the, with your work and uh, let the pen really do all the work and it gently just melts or, uh, and cuts away the filament that you no longer need. Um, in that position and um, yeah you get a, a, a much better finished product um, so yeah that's the the wax pen um, and I, I think they're an essential part of any makerspace especially if you are doing some 3d printing um, it's a really good idea to have at least one of these in your uh, toolkit so that if you are doing some fine intricate work um, you've got something like this that can really get into those nooks and crannies and um, provide a really polished finished product for you. Um, there's no, nothing worse than spending all that time designing something and printing it and then um, having it looking a bit rough around the edges because um, you haven't got something like this to, to finish the product off. So yeah, definitely look into these wax pens. Um, if you've got any more questions or you want to find out a little bit more about them, uh, write a comment below or hit me up on my blog and I'll be happy to uh, answer any questions uh, that you might have around the wax pens for 3D printing.